Hey guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching this job video. Today we will make this cool lava material. So we have lots of things here to control like this WPO and tiling like this and lots of other things. You can make this bright and you can make this like this bright. So we have lots of parameters here and you will learn each and everything. I will make it from scratch step by step. So even the beginner can understand everything what is happening here. So let's start this tutorial. Let's start this. So right click, make a material and material text. I'll use, you can use planar, cube, whatever. So if you have a cube and you take any texture, any noise texture, let me I type noise and I take like this one and if I preview this obviously there will have issue because of the UV it's continuing here but not this side so if you want to do that you want like 3d noise we can go with this otherwise we can use just the texture okay so let's say if you use texture, you have proper UVs on your mesh. Like if I see you on planar and we work on that. So let's go with this. So I'll take the other texture, maybe this blur, blur noise. This is a blur noise texture. And this is quite low res. Let me just search. These are very small. I had the bigger version. Yeah, this one. So I'll use this one. Okay, let's make the material for now translate and lit. Maybe to side. So I'll just connect it here. We don't need opacity in here in this one. So you have this. First, if you want to animate in all direction or one direction, if you one direction, you can use the panel. So you can use either X or Y or both. So like this is 0.5. It will go 0.5 on X and maybe 0.5 here. So it will go up. And if you use both, it will go diagonal. But if you want, it should go in all direction. You can also use uh, different nodes for that. Uh, I will show you how to do that. So basically type here chaos. Take this node normal uh, from the height. Don't do anything with this. Just open it by double clicking. Go here, copy this function. Close this and paste this here. Then delete this. We need this. So how it works, if I take this texture here, right click and make this texture object. Then connect this here. And if I preview this one, now you see the movement is in all direction and looks very fluidy. Still, you can use panel. So, like if I use panel in X axis and just connect it here, it will go X and it has also that fluid effect. Okay, so you can use this. So, let's say you use it here directly, but now I want a color. So for the color, you can do a lot of things. You can use color curve, you can use a different color texture. You can also use like a gradient. Let me check if I have like these. So if you have gradient like this, fire gradient and you put this here and you connect this in the UVs but I'll take just single channel in the UVs and connect this here, you will see your noise is becoming that but because noise don't have a very white color so it's not taking that bright one. If you multiply here like with 2, it will start taking that bright color like lava. And still it's looking fine. You can use it like that. Right. So if you have a gradient like this, you can use it's very easy to create and go to in Photoshop and create a gradient like that. Let me show you how. So let the Photoshop open. So if you don't have that, you can also take this ramp node. I have a separate tutorial for this. So connect this, connect this, and you will you will have a gradient. So I'll make this black from the back and here you will get your brighter color. Okay, Photoshop is open. Let me show you this one first, then we'll go to the Photoshop. 
and then I'll take the orange then I'll take the red like this and you can move this here make this really bright if you want like 20 so it will they give you that bright color here I can move these so you have to work on that gradient so how to create this kind of gradient for the Photoshop take a 1k canvas go here and open this and you can just add it this so first color you want really like white then you want something very yellowish and you want orange and then you want red and you can move these like this you can also take the color from internet and just choose the same color here okay like this and then just do this one cool so this is how you will take the gradient like this and i think this is good thing to do you can go here and take a hue it will just make this color a different color like if i take the time and take the sign just connect it here you will see in action how it will change that color cool let me make it a little slower maybe 0.2 now you can see it's becoming green blue yellow all the color you can make a parameter here then you can change okay so you have now this now you want to make it more floaty you want to add some more effect here so what i'll do i'll use this texture again here uh, i will make a texture sampler this time i'll use the same panel but with the different speed maybe 0.8 and a texture coordinate then because this node has also UV where panel is connect, you can connect texture coordinate here. So basically this is the UV for my this effect and this is the UV for this noise. So I will use this noise to modify it to distort the UVs of this. So I will just add this and if you add it directly it will completely destroy it, distort it like this. So you want some control, you can multiply it like maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, anything. We can make a parameter and check so it's now more floaty. So let's make parameter here like distort. Then you can make this uh, zero. Then you can make here and actually you can use the same here. You can use the same and make this tile. Although you can use X and Y separate tile parameter if you want. Then you can use like time and multiply and connect this on both time of panel so this is pan default one then there's one speed here which is the fluidy speed i'll just make this a parameter speed and default value one then we have this parameter which is to make it brighter so we can call it like amount or bright whatever you want to call it and that's it i'll just save it and see how it will impact overall things make this cool effect make this instance and cube or on a planar this thing making it bright then we have this distort which is distorting it then we have this pan if i make this zero or two or one then we have this speed so if i make this panel zero so we have this speed you can increase this make this total nicer or maybe just two then we can increase the panel and then finally this is tiling okay so on the cube this is how it looks uh, i should not create this transparent because it's like a lava so you can see how it works cool so 
you can also do one thing after the multiply you can also use power to control it more just call it power default value 1 so it will make it more contrast so you will get more black in your effect so currently it's all color so you can add some black here like this cool you can increase the start completely or maybe like this this and increase this so this is lava kind of fiery material so if you have a like a high poly mesh let me search i have a high res planer like this one let me preview it here let me decrease the panning speed to 0.5 and increase the tile see kind of lava you can also use this whole thing to offset the vertex so what i'll do i'll multiply this thing maybe i'll take it from here and then multiply it vertex normal then again multiply it and with the parameter WPO default value 0 connect it here and just save it so for this your planer should have more vertices like uh, in this I have so if I increase it more like this now you can see it's more like a lava looks cool right Can increase the tiling even more and decrease it. So I hope that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye bye.